Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So I announced in my blog a couple weeks ago that my fiance Spencer and I bought a house. And part of having the house we're super excited about is being able to paint uh, the different rooms. And of course, being a designer, we had to figure out a way to um, nail down exactly what colors we wanted for which rooms. So with Photoshop at our disposal, we decided to um, comp up some of the rooms and figure out what color we wanted. And then we went to um, the store and picked up paint samples. And a lot of our rooms are covered in paint samples right now. But I want to show you how we did the Photoshop part. So this room is actually not on our list to paint yet, but um, it is one of, our, one of the rooms in our house. So um, and an easy one to comp up. So I just wanted to give you a quick um, quick and dirty example of how how we did that so here's the photo I just took it with my iPhones and my iPhones like 4s so yeah that's why the photo isn't terrific but we're gonna work with it um, so we only want this part of the wall um, to add color to obviously I'll give you a sneak peek at what what ends up happening so here's some blue some purple some darker brown so I'll show you how um, I put all this together and made it look like it actually was painted on the walls. So I'm going to come over here to my just the photo. So upload whatever photo you've got. Um, I use the panoramic feature on my iPhone. So you can see it's kind of curved up here, but that's not a big deal. We'll work around it. Um, so I've got my photo on this layer and I'm going to create a new layer right down here. And then I'm going to grab this select tool, which is the polygonal lasso tool. So now with my lasso tool, I'm just going to click. This is super rough, so um, don't feel like you've got to be awesome at this because this is just for you to see to figure out what color you want. So, And don't worry about the window, we'll take care of it later. So I'm just going to come along, hit up the bed. The polygonal tool is really awesome because um, for quick stuff like this, um, you just click where you want a, a point to be held and there you go. Oh, and if, say I like clicked up here and of course I don't want a point right there, all I, all I have to do is hit the delete key or backspace if you're on a PC and it goes away and you're right back where you were before. If I want to get rid of that one, I just hit delete again. So I use this tool a lot, it makes things pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna close it. All right, so this first layer that we're putting down, let's consider this like the primer. So um, we kind of, we need to neutralize whatever color's here right now, which is this kind of tan color. So over here, you want this background color right here. I'm just gonna click it and I'm gonna select, so this is all white right here. You can see 255, 255, 255. And I just wanna add just a little bit of gray to it. Um, so let's go, let's just even it all out, 245, 245, 245. I'm gonna hit okay, and then I'm gonna hit command delete if you're on a Mac, or control backspace if you're on a PC. And that's just gonna apply this color, whatever color's right here, to that selection. And then I'm gonna hit command D, or control D if you're on a PC to deselect it. So this isn't at all what we want it to look like, but we're getting there, I promise, okay. So we need to cut out our window, we need to cut out part of the fan right here. So I'm just gonna lower the opacity of this layer just so I can kind of see through it and see those things. So I'm just gonna lower it to 50% so you can still see the layer that we just applied and you can also see the window back here and the fan. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit um, just so it's not too rough. And now I'm gonna apply a mask to this. So we're just gonna remove parts of it and a mask is a non-destructive way of deleting things. Um, so if you deleted something you want to get back, you can still get it back. It's not gone forever. So masks are super handy. Um, and I can use that. I can apply a, a layer mask by clicking this little symbol right here. Now I got a mask. Um, and I'm going to go back to my polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to start cutting. I'm just going to select around the window. So I'm just going to go around it. Okay. 
Okay, now I got the whole window selected. And for this, so black conceals whatever is on the layer right now and white reveals it. So I wanna get rid of this, so I wanna conceal it. So I need black right here. I'm gonna do the same thing I did to apply this color before. So I'm gonna hit Command Delete on my Mac or Control Backspace on a PC. And now that's poking through and you can see there's black right here. So everything that isn't black is showing this part of the layer. So I'm going to hit Command D to deselect or Control D if you're on a PC. And now I'm just going to come up to the, the lamp up here, the fan, and uh, do the same thing. I'm going to do the, the pull string afterwards. So I'm just going to get this part, same deal, black is right here, Command Delete or Control Backspace. And then Command D to deselect or Control D. And now I'm going to do the pull string right here. And again, this is just for you, so you don't have to worry about it being super perfect. And then, once again, Command Delete or Control Backspace, and then Command D or Control D to deselect. All right, we're gonna work with this. So now, this is still at 50% and we want it to change to 100%. So we can see 100% of the color. And as you can see, we don't have the wall poking through and we need it to poke through. So I'm gonna come over here to the layer blend mode and I'm gonna select color. And just like that, my wall went from this tannish to gray because this color right here was that light shade of gray, if you remember, we put in 245 three times. Okay, so our primer is down. Now comes the fun part with playing around color. So we're gonna um, use a layer style to do that. So I'm gonna double click on this layer and I'm gonna come over to color overlay and I want my blend mode to be multiply this time. And now you can see if I click on this color and say I want it a blue, and I can just click around and you can see, I can change it to any color I want. So say I really like this blue, so I hit okay, but I'm also thinking maybe, maybe I want a, a darker brown. So I can have two different layers, so I can show, like if I want to show Spencer my two ideas for the room color, I could have this on a layer, and then if I hold Alt, click, and drag, you can see I got two layers now, and I'm gonna turn off the first layer, double click on the second layer, come over to my color overlay, and here's where I'm gonna choose the brown that I want. So say this is my other choice, so I wanted Spencer to pick between this brown and this blue, now I've got them all in the same file. I don't have to keep coming back to this and changing it every time. Like I want to keep the shade that I want here. Just make sure you have um, the other one off, otherwise it gets really muddy. So it's as easy as that. And if you like this tutorial, pre please subscribe. I release a new tutorial almost every week. And when I'm not releasing a tutorial, I'm usually releasing a freebie over on my blog, every-tuesday.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.